not worried at all about JT Daniels or Jamie Newman since Georgia can't develop a quarterback. You know what? Let's address this to end the show tonight. Georgia can't develop a quarterback. How do you know that? I guess the evidence you would present to me is, well, they haven't. I, I would argue, uh, Jake Fromm wasn't terrible, guys. Just because you don't go in the first round doesn't mean you're terrible. Did you see that throw there? That wasn't bad. Uh, they won an SEC championship with him in 2017, did they not? They went to overtime of a national championship game with him. I assume you're going to tell me it was in spite of him. Whatever. Revisionist history has a funny way of really clouding facts in people's minds. But let's say Jake Fromm was terrible. Let's say all these guys have been terrible. How do you know they can't develop a quarterback? Who's responsible for developing? Ultimately, it falls on the head coach, but Kirby Smart's not working day-to-day -day with the quarterbacks. It really comes down to your offensive staff. How many games has new offensive coordinator Todd Munkin been in Athens for? How many practices has he been there for? I think zero's the correct answer. So the guy that is the most integral part of developing any quarterback you have on your roster just got into town. How do we know what Georgia's program at this very point in time is when it comes to capability of developing a quarterback. And to go back to Alabama, because we were talking about him for a second, going into the 2017 season, how would you have described Nick Saban's first decade at Alabama when it came to developing quarterbacks? They were winning. I mean, they were even winning championships. How would you have described his development of quarterbacks? You, John Parker Wilson, Greg McElroy, uh, A.J. McCarron was a pretty good guy, but he wasn't a first or second round talent. Um, Blake Sims, Jake Coker, how would you have described them developing quarterbacks? You probably would have said poor, and you probably would have said game manager, and you probably would have said they've won in spite of the quarterback position. Well, then all of a sudden, that same program and that same head coach went and got a quarterback with five stars next to his name, and three years later, he went in the first round of the NFL draft. So all of a sudden, they couldn't develop quarterbacks until they did. Now, you know what they did? They went and got a stud. And then they did what they normally do, and his talent, immense as it was, was enough, combined with the structure they had in place, to make you all of a sudden say, whew, Bama did a great job developing him. Well, Georgia could have, not saying they will, could have a guy, formerly five stars in his own right, in JT Daniels walk in. And two or three years from now, make them look like quarterback gurus, whereas in the past, you've laughed at him, or at least Rod has. Point is... You can't develop quarterbacks until you develop one. It's like you can't, win a, you can't win a championship until you win one. Right now, people say Kirby Smart can't win a championship. Well, like, what if he wins one this year? Can he still not? It's like you can't do something until you do it. I know that sounds common sense school, but it's reality.